hello everyone and welcome back to another video in this tutorial you will learn how to convert your 7z file into an iso so the way you do that is by going to this website mconverter.eu and just basically dragging and dropping your 7z file over here so at first just have all of your files in a folder and turn it into a 7z file the way you do that is by actually right clicking and then um, if you are on if you are on Windows 11 like me, you're gonna see this menu You have to click on this show more options button and you're gonna see this Windows 10 like menu and Over here you just have to hover over 7-zip and then click on this add to button Just click on it and then it's gonna do its thing um, It might take some time if your file is too big for me It wasn't because I just had a very small file, but yeah once it's done compressing um, what you want to do is just drag and drop this over here so I'll just make this screen a bit smaller and then drag and drop once you do that what you want to do is click on this start button and then it's gonna take some time to basically upload and then convert the file and then also download it for you this will basically do all your work very easily and then once you do that uh, you just have to save this file to the location that you want to save for me I'm just gonna save it on my desktop for this tutorial and let it download the one you can actually delete this whole file from their server uh, by clicking on this delete now button if you don't delete it uh, manually they will just automatically delete it after four hours but yeah you can actually do that manually and whilst I was talking about that the ISO file is done downloading and this is actually the file now what you want to do is double click on it and you're gonna see this screen just uh, hit on open and if you see this screen just click on Windows Explorer and click on either just once or always whichever you prefer I'll just click on just once and once again you're gonna see this maybe and then click on open and then as you can see that it converted this file into an ISO and I can basically use my 7z file as an ISO I have all the files over here and yeah basically it did all the work for me I hope that this tutorial was um, understandable and easy to um, follow along. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications if it's not done automatically. And like the video, share the video as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everybody.